All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me here today. And if you haven't already, you know, hit that subscribe button right down below. Follow along with more of our garden adventures here on The Urban Gardener. Now today, we'll be harvesting up our potatoes. I'm gonna put some links down below in the description there for some of our previous years in harvesting potatoes. We've gotten really some mixed results. Last year was really, really nice. And this year, I'm just not too sure about, just like in any other year, whereas you don't know what you got until you get down and dig them out. So that's what we'll be doing here today. And um, also, I've got some uh, potatoes I've grown in a five gallon bucket too on the back patio we'll dig into. And I've got, um, some sweet potatoes in another container in the back alleyway. We'll dig into those and see if we got any sweet potatoes out of that as well. So let's go check those out. Well, we're harvesting today. Figured it was a good time for us to pull up these uh, pumpkins we've been growing this year. Not sure exactly what variety it was that I planted this year, but we ended up with a couple of really nice sized ones. But today, we're out to get those across the alleyway here, our container potatoes. Now, usually each year I grow about three different varieties of potatoes, usually a red, a purple, and the russet type variety but this year um, I didn't get any of those varieties I was only able to get one variety called the Kennebec and so we planted all one variety in all three of our containers this year now as you can see this one here ended up damaged and we are on an alleyway I'll put a link right up here for my vlog channel where I did a video explaining exactly what happened here to this potato container. But one of the things I've been doing over the last couple of years is just planting one layer of potatoes and only doing um, so much soil, about half the soil, letting them grow and then adding soil. Well, this year I didn't add the soil, which would be considered hilling if you were uh, planting your potatoes in the ground. And just to show you here, you see this potato. This potato is on the first layer and as the soil had settled throughout the season, this potato was um, allowed to get some sun by popping up out of the soil. And it's got a lot of here. This potato is really green because it's been getting a lot of sunlight. Now if you have potatoes that are green like this, you don't want to be eating them. It's got a uh, poisonous chemical in that uh, skin there uh, that'll make you kind of sick and uh, you don't want to be doing that. And that goes for potatoes that you're buying at the store too. You see them really green and all of that, you don't want to be uh, eating those. But as you can see, these potatoes are already starting to sprout themselves as well. As well as what I think we've got here too is some potatoes that grew from our original plants and ended up sprouting up new plants too. So, um, but we're gonna go ahead and dig these out and uh, see what kind of potatoes we've got down in there as well. Hey Dexter, what's going on buddy? Look at you getting all dirty. Little white cat getting all dirty. What's going on, George? How you doing, man? There we've got all three of our containers over here. And usually what I've done before is gone through each of them to see how much each of them hold. It's all one variety this year. So I'll dump all of them out. 
right over here and then we'll dig through them and we'll pile up what we've got from our harvest. Got ourselves a nice pile of potatoes here, all harvested up out of all of our soil from our containers. Let's say we've got about six to seven pounds of that Kennebec variety of potatoes, which isn't too bad when you consider we only grew in this about 10, 10 or so gallon container, and we only filled this container up about halfway this time. Now my intention was to fill it up all the way and kind of layer the potatoes in there. But uh, we'll give that a shot this next growing season and see if we can't uh, double our yield. All right, next up, I've got a few of our leftover Kennebec seed potatoes that I planted out in this four gallon um, bucket here that I put on our back patio. So for just one seed potato that we put in that bucket, we got about a pound and a half of potatoes there. Not too bad. So all right, back here, back between the fence line for our back alleyway and where we grow our peppers at, I placed a container to grow sweet potatoes. Now, the vines went around everywhere, all the way out into the alley, all over the peppers over here. Hopefully, that's a good sign to what we've got inside this bucket. Let's dig in and see what we've got. There we go. Look at that. We got some pretty decent sized ones for growing out of a container there and only really planting a couple of different slips. Our container is probably just a bit bigger than the ones that we used for our regular potatoes. Yeah, not too bad. Easiest thing I've grown. Just got a couple of slips from a friend, stuck them in the ground. And mind you, this is just dirt this isn't even really soil this is dirt you know these things are grow in anything so yeah we'll have to set these uh in the shed there to cure you have to let them cure for probably about a couple of weeks there should be ready in time for thanksgiving and we've got some peppers that are nice and ripe off of our plants we'll have to do some harvesting here Got one of these here. This is a Dos Des Landes. Nice long pepper with just a really striking, beautiful red color to it. This one here is probably one of the sweetest peppers you can grow. Like candy off of the plant. I'm just gonna snack on this one right out of the garden. <laughs> so there we go. We got our potatoes all harvested up out of our alleyway containers, our Kennebec varieties, and our sweet potatoes we put out back. And it's not too bad of a harvest for not putting that much effort into the grow. Just basically put a couple of potatoes into our containers, 
in with the sweet potatoes, a couple of slips into the ones in the back, and just let them do their own thing. And now I've got a pretty good little harvest for this year. And you know, like I've said though too, about our gardens and life in 2020, it may not be quite what we've expected, but we just take some notes and we'll use that as we move forward into our next year and hopefully have some really, really great harvests. So I hope that you all like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and get down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all of our potatoes that we've grown this year, or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns at all. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of The Urban Gardener. And I'll see you again on the very next episode. That's good. Hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Please, if you haven't already, <coughs> you know, seed stock and to choose from. Okay, that's not that. And if you haven't already, I just said if you, <laughs> as we continue, oh, I'm... <laughs> that was rolling pretty good. In fact, hit that bulb. <laughs> bulb. <laughs> we haven't had very much. Okay, no. that's not what I'm trying to say. It's not what I'm trying to say. Maybe six to seven pounds or so of tomato. <laughs> All right, so one more thing to dig up. We've got a couple of our leftover seed potatoes that we had from our Kennebix. One more thing to dig up here for our... <laughs> Next up here, let's dig up some of our leftover Kennebix seed... <laughs> Especially our sweet potatoes. I just plucked some sweet... <laughs> ay, 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 ay. And um, that was it right there, right there.